That's a lot of beans for a small space, honey. We're Lottie and Margaret, and we're spending two months testing out a prototyped camper van and road tripping across the USA. Things are not going as planned. We're out of battery power. Jesus. Ready? Just focus, don't even talk to me. We don't know what tires we're, we have on right now, but the unpredictable is what we love most and why the nine to five routine will never be for us. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and join the journey. Sometimes you wake up on the side of a busy highway, but even along the highway, it's beautiful. So we had such a good time at the concert last night. It was so much fun, as you can tell from my face. And now I woke up so excited to be in Colorado. I couldn't even change before walking around and getting looks, but it's fine. We're having a blast. Look at what a beautiful morning. Having access to these locations and every single day waking up somewhere different and every single day is this massive surprise what is coming. So lucky. Experiencing Colorado in an autumn is a lifetime experience. I can't be more excited than this. And we're only surfacing. We're only one hour from Denver. So as we are getting further, four hours in, let's say, to the middle earth of this beautiful, beautiful mountain range. That's where these proper old gold mine cabins and uh, wildlife begins. <laughs> This is why we build a van. This is not about any specs. This is about the only single thing that is an amazing, convenient lifestyle. In the last uh, van build video we made, we talked about bases for these seats and how tall the seat becomes when you add swivel mechanism to it. I told you, I told you, I told you. <laughs> Look how high I sit. Look at that. This is so dangerous in a case of accident. I would probably break my neck. It freaks me out. <laughs> and when I want to appreciate the landscape, I need to be driving like this. And I have such a back pain in a few hours. If you are adding swivel mechanism to the original base, that's a big mistake. You need to buy a shorter base as well. Otherwise, you're losing butt flow in your in your uh, hamstrings. It becomes so uncomfortable, and you will hate driving. I want to have a cyber bike right here, right now. Or a different toy that we ordered that they're gonna see soon. Oh, oh, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. I ordered second mode of transportation for this smaller van. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you guess in the comments what do you guys think I ordered. It's electric. I think. I think I know what most people will guess, and I no, think nobody, I know that you're nobody wrong. Nobody knows. No, no, they won't guess it. I just say I know what people will guess, and it's not it. Your first thought, it's not that one. Second thought. Not even that one. No, actually, no way. Wish 
Millie could see this. Little Millie Maha would love it here in Colorado. We have to stop. It is way too beautiful to just drive through. Look at this. Just off the highway. Bunny! Mm. Oh, Bunny doesn't want to talk. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> I swear these checks. Some checks are a little bit weirder than others. Beware. This is massive. I'm scared of heights. It doesn't make me comfortable. It's very scary. Well, I think that was enough of adventure. And let's go back to safety. <laughs> I love heights. I love being high up. I'm always tempted to kind of jump, like that instinct, you know? But Lottie does not like heights. So watching him in these instances is extra fun. Wow, this is such a beautiful trail and it goes through all of these mountains and it goes really far this is like a 10 mile loop and for us for the time options we have it's just too long you know so this on a cyber bike that would be the blast that's exactly where you see much more in a shorter period of time and ha wish to have one here I'm curious if you're the only weirdos that it doesn't matter where we travel, we always love snooping and, and seeing how people live in these beautiful houses because we only live one subjective life. So it's at least interesting to imagine for a bit how it must be to live this different subjective lifeline. <laughs> Sometimes we get lucky and people are out in front of their houses and we're able to ask them how long they've been there, if they built it themselves. It's always so interesting, especially locations like this, which 30 years ago, imagine the infrastructure. <laughs> Definitely a seal. That's a seal. Definitely. Jesus. 
A quick pause to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. This week, I decided to watch the workshop Designing the Life You Want, Four Exercises for Clarity and Motivation with Michelle B. What I loved most about this class was the anti-vision exercise, which was essentially listing out different ideas or versions of your life that you know that you don't want to approach in order to provide clarity for the life that you do. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means there are no ads during your classes, so you can really focus in on whatever it is that you want to learn. The first 1,000 subscribers to use the link in our description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. So here is the situation. We're out of battery power. It's raining for following five days. And we are power dependent on charging drones, charging cameras, charging laptops, charging phones, cooking, heating up, lighting, everything. And the only power source on this van is solar. So we're probably screwed. Hey guys, don't do that again, anybody having only one power source, you need to at least utilize alternator because in this case, we would drive a little bit, charge it and be fine. I definitely thought this phase of van life that we had finished, like in our early 20s, of completely depending on cafes and public libraries for any sort of electricity wifi and Wi Fi yeah. to charge up our devices. We thought it's done. So it looks like we're going to do a few more hours driving south, get out of the mountains, find some deserts, and be able to charge to just to be able to function normally. And you need to keep in mind that we're not here just to enjoy the nature, but we're also to share that nature. And that means that we are working online. We're dependent on our cameras and all of our equipment. We work online. So I'm responding emails, I'm doing orders, and we run a business in check. So it's, we are heavily dependent on business. And, and without electricity, we can be charging devices and we can be creating this content. So that's why the alternator is the takeaway. And the other takeaway is one kilowatt is not overkill. It's not overkill. This is such a beautiful mountain range and the road is carved into the mountain that this is exactly why this is one of the most scenic, dr scenic drives in uh, West America. So freaking dangerous road. Look at that, look at that. Oh my God. Just focus, don't even talk to me. That's pretty crazy. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh. This is a 45 minute drive and every single stopover has views like this. Every single one. Waterfalls coming down onto the road as you're going. And some of them don't even have gates. You're not being blocked by anything when you're driving. That turned really quick, really quick. Now all of a sudden we're in the snow. If we left a little bit later, we would definitely have to do multi-day drive around whole Colorado mountains because these, these roads are definitely closing soon. There's definitely a big level of panic because no, this is all fresh snow. None of this is salted down. You're not being blocked by anything when you're driving. And we don't know what tires we're, we have on right now. We did not expect to be hitting winter. It's only September. There he is, the savior. We woke up this morning thinking, we'll escape the rain, we'll go somewhere sunny. I never would have expected to see snow. This is, I don't like this at all. This is very stressful for me. I feel like all of the footage that we're doing from the van and from the car do not do this place justice. So let's go up in the air.
rice cooker and a rice cooking process what is it going to be tonight probably something really basic <laughs> we've been eating out a lot since getting here welcome to america lottie living his american burger life what even is that that's supposed to fit in there <laughs> <laughs> Lottie's been eating a lot of burgers and chipotle. Some not enough actually. Some chipotle. Not enough chipotle. <laughs> Bunny, what do you think of the top loading fridges? Oh, I just hate them. <laughs> we didn't even have to have one to know it's a bad design. It's just stupid to be stocking and restocking everything and and uh, here it is, just proved with the uh, experience. But I'm really excited about this corn. With each van layout, you have to kind of make decisions about your fridge. Do you want one that opens? Do you want one lifted? Do you want a chest fridge? The reason we don't like chest fridges is because you have to dig for your food. It's just not our favorite. No fridge is perfect, but it's my least favorite kind. This is our pro trick, always cooking a rice at the bottom and steaming something on the top. Power efficiency and a mwah, good smelly ricey. It's delightful. Not a bad view, right? Pretty idyllic camp spot. It's a lot of rice. See? It doesn't even burn me. Because I didn't do any sins in my life. <laughs> I'm a good human and good humans don't get burned. What? Was well, that how it works? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. no, it's at least saying in Czech. <laughs> Yum. That's a lot of beans for a small space, honey. Quick cooking. Hey, 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 don't over engineer that food. <laughs> <laughs> Basic but yummy. That's what you need after a long drive. Depends how high maintenance you are. It's like. Uh, uh. Are we high maintenance, though, honey? In some respects, yes. In others, not so much. <laughs> as long yeah. as it's healthy, I'm good. Wow, I'm happy we can actually eat something warm today because uh, yesterday we had to eat outside because there was just no, not enough power to cook. We purposely saved as much power as possible to at least take a hot shower in, at the evening. And today we're just using the rice cooker because on that electric stove that would be impossible to cook on, um, on something like 1500 watts. Just impossible. We're just trying to save as much as possible so we have enough for phones and for laptops. We would have liked to do a stir fry or something nice like that. Not today. But it won't it wouldn't mm -hmm. last. We wouldn't be able to do both. And that made me realize we need a really good alternator for our van build mm -hmm. because I would like to be charging with at least fifteen hundred watts, two kilowatts ideally, to supplement solars when we don't have sun.
just finished dinner and now we're going for a short walk around the national forest that we're camping in and it is so alive. We've already seen like six or seven deer run across the road and there's just a mom and her little doe over this way. A long drive day. We always love taking the opportunity to walk, stretch, keep the heart rate up and always brainstorm great ideas. <laughs> mm. Wow, it's been pretty incredible past few days. We've seen so much in the uh, US and uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy how it, all of this goes. Let us guys know what you would like to uh, see us filming or talking about what you would be interested from this current lifestyle. Such as a van tour or maybe a van tour review or a van tour critique. One of those? Yeah, and we also have something really, really exciting to show you in our following videos. Mm -hmm. We are purchasing additional mode of transportation. It's electric and I'll let you guess what it is. Yes, guess in the comments below. It's so exciting. See you next time. There is seriously nothing else I want more in my life than having our one kilowatt solar camper van finished with that massive power bank and two electric powerful motorcycles and then just spending a week or two weeks or a month as long as I'm enjoying it in locations like this. Because these trails are so difficult to access that with this currently available tech that is a fulfilling the life to the maximum.